Hey guys, Max Roberts from Go Left Gaming. This is my second episode of the new vlogs I've started. I figured this was the best way, uh, stepping stones, to deliver better content, get used to talking, hearing myself, editing, video, all that stuff. Um, but I'm here today, uh, episode two, to talk about one thing, despite all the recent awesome news. One thing, one thing only. A new computer game. Um, it's actually on all platforms, uh, PC, Mac, Linux, all that wonderful jazz. It's a new game from the Fulbright Company, which is a team, at least from what I've read, a couple of people from the Bioshock games, uh, over at Rational and a couple other people, made this game called Gone Home. And holy cow, what an incredible game. It just, I've read... Uh, the day of the reviews, and I believe the game actually came out, all the reviews hit, and there was just this flood of positive um, positive views on the game. And it just flowed out. It filled my Twitter feed for at least two days, just straight gone home uh, stuff. If you actually want to follow them on Twitter, um, their Twitter handle is gone home game, at gone home game. They're... Um, they don't really tweet much, but a lot of love poured to that studio, and they usually retweet it. But they created this game that, according to the description, it was this mystery point-and-click um, mystery game. It's I, I feel like mystery kind of gives it the wrong illusion. It's this it's this interactive story, and it's really cool. It's it's not a horror game. There's no pop out. It's like, nothing pops out and scares you. There's no guns, no knives, no kills. It is purely a story, and a, a beautiful story, and I love it to death. And it, for me, it's, I already have a game of the year. Uh, the Last of Us is my game of the year so far. And uh, if, if The Last of Us wasn't there, this would be in the running next to Bioshock Infinite. This would, this is definitely something I think everyone should play. And it's not complicated at all. The gist, the gist of the game is, uh, you play as a character, Katie. Um, main character is Katie. Actually, everyone in the game is a a girl. Uh, so there's a, um, I don't want to say a stab, but uh, toward the I can never say her name right, but the the tropes of Woody, women in video games, that web series that came out and just actually wrapped up maybe a couple weeks ago. Um, there you go, another strong female lead in a game where there's no male, woman in the refrigerator, all that crazy stuff. Um, but you come home, you, you play as this girl Katie, and she's been gone away over in Europe, um, that area of the world, go on this trip or something, business, I have no idea. She's going, she's exploring the world, and she comes home, uh, and no one's home. Her family is missing. And you have to explore the house and see what they've left behind to figure out where they've gone, what happened to them. And it's a beautiful game. Beautiful uh, graphically. I played it on medium because my MacBook doesn't run crazy eye graphics. But played it on medium. It was beautiful. And I imagine even higher settings, it's even more gorgeous. And then just like inside and out. Uh, you know, outside how it looks is beautiful, and inside the core of the game, the story, is fantastic. It's it it really changes the way storytelling goes about in games. It's it's fantastic. I know I keep saying that, but it's such such a good game. It's not. It, I played with my headset uh, back there, my PlayStation headset down that way in that area. I played with that, um, so virtual surround sound, I believe it outputs to that. It was, I just played with a full headset, and I just let the sound of the game envelop me in its, in its experience, and it really, if you can play with either high, high quality speakers in a very quiet setting, or with a headset, do it. Do yourself a favor and play like that, because just the natural sounds, floorboards creaking, it's raining the entire game, there's thunder and things. And then the game is narrated, the story is narrated. Um, 
by the characters in the game. And it's it's fantastic narration. I love it. And it's, there's real emotion in their voice. And it just sucks you in. And the only motivation behind the game is what happened to your family. But then it evolves and it becomes... It's beautiful and moving and it's fantastic. And I, I want... I, I, I want everyone to play it, and there will be a link to purchase the game below. I purchased it through Fulbright themselves, and what was really cool is the game is DRM-free, which is another big thing nowadays, but you get a copy, a direct copy from them, and then you also get a key for your Steam account. So it's kind of a double whammy. Um, so if you use Steam, you can have an account there, and then you can also have just a direct download from them, DRM-free and all that jazz. So that's what I did. The game now, it was on sale when it first came out for 18 or 17 bucks. Now it's 20 full price, but I imagine Steam will have it on sale eventually and all that wonderful jazz that goes with PC gaming. But it's, it's not a very long game. It's two hours. But to me, when I game, I, like, I value the story. I love story and games. So for me, the $20 was worth it. It's not going to be worth your $20 if you're going in and you're expecting this crazy crime, murder, mystery, detective, L.A. noir style mystery feel. Um, you're not going to you're not gonna find it here, and it's not going to be your style. If you, you know, like first-person shooters or anything first-person that's not just simple interaction with the house and the environment and things you find, you're not going to like this game for the $20 price, you might pick it up for 10 or 5 or whatever Steam does. But it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful game. And it touches, it, it really touches you. It really hits home with everyone, I think. I think no matter uh, who you are or where you come from or what your story is, that this one will hit home and it will touch you. And I'll never forget this story. And I'll come back to it. I want to share it with people. I definitely want my friends uh, that feel the same way to play. Uh, this type of game, I think it would really hit home with a lot of people. It's, it's, it's definitely worth your time. It's definitely worth, and I, I personally want to just thank the Fulbright company for making this and sharing this experience with everyone. And I think, I just thank you for that. I, it means a lot to me, and I know it means a lot to a, a, a bunch of other people. So I think that everyone here should go try Gone Home. Uh, again, there will be a link down in the description to go purchase the game from Fulbright. And definitely try it. If you love story in a game, go play Gone Home right now. And if you can, go in dark. Don't read reviews. Try to avoid um, people talking about the game in general. Go in as clean as you can. It... It just it makes the experience so much better, just like any game, uh, story driven, and it's beautiful and fantastic and gorgeous and amazing and lovely and you all should you all should play it. So with that, that's all for me. Go play Gone Home from Fulbright Company. Uh, again, it's available on PC, Mac, and Linux, and it's worth your time and money. So. Go give them your money and play this game. Curl up, put some headphones on, put a headset on, and enjoy. Just enjoy the experience. With that, I'm Max Roberts, and remember, go left.